you there. Over. I guess that's a no. Going on, sir. Astrogator. Doctor Yasna. I tried to resuscitate him, but no, no please. Koval. Doctor Krauser. How? There was nothing wrong with him. Had an allergic shock. He bled out during the flight. I still don't understand. He wasn't hurt. His injuries must have occurred later. I found him like this when I entered Hopper. I'm saying this to let you know that I take full responsibility for the Doctor's death. You left the camp on my orders. Astrogator, thank you for telling me that. But now I need some silence. I confirm, Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> Why hasn't he yet? <sighs> Going down after him. <sighs> Tell me one thing, sir. What did you do with Crowter's body? I placed him in a quiet chamber. Are you going to use a grave tapper? Yes. Yeah. I'm considering that as a possibility. What is your opinion? Yeah, that report. <sighs> One sec. How oh, about the end of the rope? Isn't that good? Not at all. What do you mean? Damn. Oh, that's the last thing I need. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm hanging with my full weight on the rope, away from the wall. Oh, I can't go up. Nothing to grab onto. Oh, shit. I can't reach the wall. How far to the ground? A good few meters. Uh, any ideas? I, I can just jump off. Is that safe? A substantial fool on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. Uh, I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that, Yasna. He could keep going even with injuries. <sighs> All right, so do you have another idea? Oh, will I be hanging like this until the end of time itself? There is a certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. I'm listening. Can you see the probe? Yes. It's flying near me. Good. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. All right. Let's give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. Two meters forward. Stop, that's enough. You have a really good eye. Exactly two meters. <sighs> you could say so. <sighs> I fell from a lower height. It was a soft landing, though. <clears throat> Wow. 
We had our last contact with Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. He didn't take a test. Damn. This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. Sir, he kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Dr. Gorski. No, no. Why are you asking? He tried to open up a connection, set up a transmitter. There's nothing on the comms, but I'll check the record history. Please give me a moment. Look, there's metal. to the frying pan <sighs> into a hole oh, I'm gonna sound like a broken record but the oceanic forms here are similar to those on earth so there should be similarities on land as well similarities life astrogator I still think there should be life on the surface of Regis III. Oh! Damn it! What is it this time? Take a guess, sir. A sinkhole? Uh huh. Thank you. 
Doctor, I found something after all. From Gorski. It's hard to tell. There are errors in the transmission header. I'm going to play it, so we'll find out. Gorski to base. I repeat, this is Gorski. Base, come in. No doubt, it's him. Well, let's keep listening. But as soon as you report anything, Doctor, I'll stop the recording. Bugger. No confirmation again. I report. I've made an amazing discovery. Geometric structures that... A thicket of bushy, pointed woods and slats. Mostly iron, but not only. Molybdenum, carbon, tungsten. Altogether similar to a giant integrated circuit. A million swarm of tangled cables. Not a trace of electric current, polarity, not even residual magnetism. Maybe once upon a time, centuries ago, petawatts or exawatts of power flowed this way. You know, to compare with something, it's, it's probably a machine. Some kind of information collective structure. Maybe it was some kind of electronic brain. It makes me think of the Lyrans. A race of extinct sentient beings. Supposedly, they knew about light astrogation before we invented the wheel. They had to save themselves from the explosion of Nova. They sent ships. The remains of the remains of those ships have been found, ash to a chip glued together. I've seen hypothetical schematics. The structures here remind me of those. Okay, moving on. Readings. Well, that's it. What follows is just a humming noise. Any thoughts, Doctor? Oh, so far, it all leads to one conclusion. This is not a place for a man. Nor for any humanoids. Then who is it for? Maybe it's really an alien technology. Those Lyrans. Uh, as far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guesswork. Many consider Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. Well, I think there might be something to it. I can see the relay up close. It looks broken. This is starting to look like a deliberate diversion to me. Uh, you may be right. The question is, who's behind all these disruptive activities? That I don't know, sir. Traces, this time handprints, and a drop detector. What? Did I hear you right? Yes, sir. You heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Well, that doesn't mean we should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find him, Doctor. I found something. Again. That business. Uh, more of the same stuff. Gorski's things. 
all traces. Fine. Actions devoid of logic. Back in the camp, you reported Marit's abandoned things. A backpack and a journal, yes. This scene looks disturbingly similar. No one of sound mind would decide to go down this way. And yet Gorski... Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Finally, I have his position. Okay. Not yet. Gorski, are you here? It's me, Yasna. Still not. Yeah. I found his backpack. You know what that means, sir. Yes, he's without oxygen. We must hurry. Almost there. Oh, there he is. Got him. He's not moving. Closed. Is he breathing? He's alive, but barely. Did he react in any way? Saturation is within the lower range. Risk of tissue hypoxia. Other reactions? Gorski! Come on! Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a man. Okay, let me just... Uh, I'm, I'm pulling him uh, out. Uh, done. He's out. I activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? Uh, no point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway, so they're not left in this maze. 
have a preliminary scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The probe will guide you. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with him, Astrogator. You'd need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Negative. I went around with Jasper. You friend, the doctor won't carry you. The membrane looks intact. What did you say? I didn't get. In the lander, my friend. I'll hook you up in the lander. I still can't see something. It's nothing, Astrogator. Only static. Sort of. Yes. Once you set up the transmitter, I should start receiving Gorski's signal. Shaking. Ah. <sighs> 